a biggie, something we call the retina display. What's that? <laughs> well, in any display, there are pixels. Here's four of them. We start off with the retina display by dramatically increasing the pixel density, four times as many pixels in the same amount of space. Now, why is that important? Well, let's make more pixels. And let's say we want to draw the letter A. And this is the outside boundary of one of the strokes of a letter, the letter A. Well, as you can see, we turn on pixels inside that stroke. We can get far more precision the more pixels we have. And we play all sorts of tricks by putting different levels of gray pixels on that line as well to try to fuzz it for our eye. But when we zoom out of this, what you can see is that because we have four times as many pixels, we get really, really sharp text compared to what we normally get on displays of lesser resolution. Now, the retina display has 326 pixels Woo! per inch. This is. There's never been a display like this on a phone. People haven't even dreamed about a display like this on a phone. That's incredible. And of course, to display that many pixels, we pack them really tightly. There are 264 pixels per inch in this display. And that is enough to call it a retina to display. Well, why is that? Well, you may recall when we launched the iPhone, we said that the iPhone, when held at a normal distance, 10 inches or closer, has enough pixels that your retina in your eye can't distinguish those individual pixels. And yes, there's real math behind that. Experts agree with us. Well, the same is true of the new iPad. When you hold it at a normal distance, in this case 15 inches or even closer, your retina and your eye cannot discern those individual pixels. It is enough pixel density that you can't pick out the pixels. And the images on it look stunning. The pixels on this display are so small that from a normal working distance, your retina cannot discern those individual pixels. And to use it is absolutely stunning. It's 15.4 inches across, but it's pixel density. Are you, are you all sitting down? Because this is really exciting. It is 2,880 pixels by 1,800. That's four times the number of pixels in the previous generation. MacBook Pro display. Their density is 220 pixels per inch, and I know some of you are really smart out there and have already done the math. It's 5,184,000 pixels. That is the world's highest resolution notebook display. And it, yes. It is truly remarkable. It's a 27 inch display that has 5,120 pixels by 2,880 pixels. If you're really fast with math, you know that is an insane 14.7 million pixels on one display. It is the world's highest resolution display. With 14.7 million pixels, this goes way beyond HD. It gives the ultimate all-in-one computer the ultimate display and it means you see incredible detail on a scale that just hasn't been done before on a desktop. We started by moving to an Oxide TFT, or Thin Film Transistor Panel. Oxide TFT is needed to get these many millions of pixels to charge quicker and then stay charged longer. We manufactured an Oxide TFT-based display more precisely than had ever been done before. 
One of the great results is the vivid brightness you see across the whole screen.